Assalamualaikum, my name is Natasha and I will be presenting about the section 1 in this survey which is demographic. In section 1, the age, the gender, races, marital status and employment status will be asked. Firstly, the age. Based on the pie chart, uh, there will uh, there will be one person uh, who choose 15 to 70 years old and 70 people who choose 18 to 20 years old, 7 people who choose 21 till 25 years old, 3 people choose 26 till 30 years old, 5 people who choose 30 to 35 years old, and 26 people who choose 35 years old and above. And gender. The gender will be uh, will be two only, which is female and male. So in this survey, the male is twenty four people only, and while female, there will be uh, there is eighty eight people, which female is majoring uh, in this section. So the races, the choices will be in within the Malaysia, which is Malay, Chinese, Indian, and other. So, by, based on the pie chart, uh, the majority of the races is Malay, which is uh, 106 people. The Chinese is 5 people and no representative from India. And 1 people chose other, which is Kalazanduso. So, employment status. The employment status, the choices will be student, employed, unemployed, and other. So based on the based on the respondent, the majority of the people is student, which is seventy two people, thirty five people employed, four people unemployed, and one people chose other. So the lastly is marital status. The choices of marital status is single, married, divorced, and other. So the majority of uh, of the respondent chose a single, which is seventy eight people. Thirty people married, one people chose divorce, and three people chose other. So that's all from me in section one demographic, and I will pass to Husnina for the section two. Okay, hi, my name is Nur Husnina Naja, and I will continue with the question. Okay, the question is, uh, before this, do you know about D6PD? Uh, based on this question, uh, 46 of them, uh, 46 of the respondent uh, answered with yes, uh, 49 of them answered with no, and the rest of them, 17% uh, uh, answered with maybe. Uh, this makes 41% of yes, 44% uh, of no, and 15% of maybe. Uh, from this answer, we can see that um, uh, almost half of the respondent don't know what uh, G6PD are. Okay, uh, next question we go with, do you suffer from G6PD? Uh, the only answer that provided from this question are uh, yes or no. From this question, uh, four of the respondent uh, answered with yes and another 108 of the respondent answered with no. Uh, this make four percent of uh, the respondent have been suffered from this XPD, uh, while another ninety six percent of them have not suffered from this XPD. Okay. Uh, next question is pointed to the respondents uh, that have uh, suffered from this XPD. Uh, the uh, the question is how severe is your this XPD? Uh, one of the respondents uh, answered with severe and another three of them uh, answered with neutral. Mm, I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nur Elia Balkis. And now I'm going to continue with the next question in this survey. The question is, do your family members or friends suffer from g 6 from this question? 24% of the respondents answered yes and the remaining 76% answered no, which means 27 from 112 respondents have family members or friends that suffer from this XPD and the other 85 respondents doesn't have family members or friends that suffer from this XPD.
Now moving on to the next question. The question asks, do you happen to have these symptoms often? And the symptom the symptoms stated are concentrated urine, breathing difficulties, fast heartbeat rate, headache, high fever, and none of the above. From this question, 89 respondents chose none of the above as an answer, and other 23 respondents have chosen one or more answers from the symptoms stated. So from 23 people, 3 people have experienced high fever, 20 people experienced headache, 9 people experienced fast heartbeat rate, 7 people experienced breathing difficulty, and 4 people have experienced concentrated urine. Okay, so that's all for me and now I'm going to pass it to the next person. Assalamualaikum, my name is Noelia Afina. Now I will continue with the next question, which is Do you know what causes G6PD? For this question, you provide four different types of answer, which are eating habits, lack of exercise, genetic factor, and lack of sleep. Based on 112 respondents, 14% of respondents choose eating habits, 5% of respondents choose lack of exercise, and 72% of respondents choose genetic factor, and 9% of respondents choose lack of sleep as the causes of G6PD. However, the true answer to the causes of G6PD is a genetic factor. This shows that 31 out of the respondents do not know the true causes of G6PD. The next question is, in your knowledge, does this disease happen in there are three types of answers we provide, which are children, adults, and elderly. For this question, 14% of respondents said the elderly, 61% answer children, and 35% answer adults. The real answer to this question is children. Since this disease video occurred due to genetic factor, it means that the disease starts in childhood. Based on the response that have been answered, there are 44 people who are unaware about this. Moving to the next question. The question states that, in your opinion, do you think this disease can be treated? For this question, 26% of respondents answered yes, and 16% answered no, and 58 answered maybe for an option regarding the treatment opportunity of GGSPD. That's all from me. Now I will pass to the next presenter, Nawal. Thank you, Ilya. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nawal Azalia. Now we move on to the next question, which asks, if you agree that GGSPD disease may be treated, what treatment suggestion do you think is suitable for this disease? The question has three different answers. The first one is avoidance of oxidative stressors. Second, consumption of folic acid followed by consumption of vitamin E and selenium. According to the response we obtained, the majority of the respondent, which is 48 persons, chose folic acid usage as the best prescription for treating this disease. 25 additional respondents chose vitamin E and selenium consumption and 31 others just avoiding oxidative stressors as a suitable option. And the last question is, did you receive any diagnosis or medical treatment from a doctor? According to the results of the survey, 14 respondents stated that they had gotten medical treatment and diagnosis from doctor. However, 98 responders did not receive any medical therapy that was required to treat this condition. What conclusions can be made based on the information gathered from this feedback? We may conclude that only few individuals are aware of the G6PD disease because the average individual affected by that is not and there are still many who pay less attention to the disease and do not seek treatment even though they have the disease. In a nutshell, as science students, we should raise community awareness about this disease so that people will be more aware of it and pay more attention to it in the future. And that's all from us. Thank you.